Okay, this is part four to the null sleep tutorial. If you haven't watched the first three parts, I suggest that you do so. Um, and this is entitled Effects How To Chords. Um, in music, chords are built when at least three notes are played simultaneously. This might seem to be a problem at first when you are using something which only has four channels and one of them can only produce white noise. But there is a way to simulate chords being played with just a single channel of the Game Boy. Go back to the phrase screen for the channel that your lead sound was on. This is our, the, in our case it would be the Pulse 2 channel. Um, pick a row where one of your notes is placed and go to the last column. That's, this is what we're in, our command column. This is the effects column. Hit A to place an effect. It should say A00. Um, I actually was already messing around, so it's, for me it said H, but for you it will say A00. This is the command to run table 00 on this note. You can change effects by pressing A left and right and get an explanation of a note by just, tap, of a note by just tapping A. So. You actually have to tap it twice, but that would be run table, chord, delay, volume, groove, and so on. But we're going to keep it at A for right now. Next, get to the table screen using select in the D-pad. It's down and to the left. So hold select, down, and left. Actually, that's not working. So... Um, I believe if you just hold A, or I'm sorry, hold select and press right. Oh, wait, down to the left. Nope, still doesn't work. Um, hold select and press right. It will take you right to table zero zero. Tables are essentially sequences of transposes, commands, and amplitude changes, which can be played at any speed and applied to any channel. The first column is the envelope column. Leaving it all zero, 0 makes the standard envelope you've already set up for your instrument. Next is the second column, used to transpose notes. This is the one you will be using for creating chords. In the first step of the column, leave it leave zero, 0 This is because you want the note you entered to be heard within the chord. Let's assume for this example it was C5. In our case it was C sharp 5. Move down to the next step and hit A right to change this row to 04. Uh, like I said, it it will if you hit A, it will probably go to 1. Um, I was just messing around with this prior, so. Uh, transposing C5 up 4 steps will give you E5. In the third row, do the same, but this time change it to 07 giving you G5. This is seven steps up from C5. So go to seven. Now to make these three pitches loop very quickly, move to the right one column. That's over here in our command column. Um, and hit A right until you find H. This is the command to hop back to the first, um, I'm sorry. This is the command to hop to another location in the channel. Leaving the column to the right of it at 0, 0 tells the table to hop back to the first row once it reaches the H00 command in the fourth row. So now you've created a loop in the table. Play this back and you'll hear a simulated major chord. If you don't know much about chords, then you can also give similar texture to your instrument by just using 00 on the first row and 0C on the second row and H00 on the third. This will simply play an octave up from the bass note giving the instrument a little more complexity. Alright, so let's go back and we'll listen to it. just gives a nice little chord effect. Um, 
I think Null Sleep was using an older version of LSDJ at this time. Um, you can actually do this a lot faster now. Um, we're going to erase all of this, and you can actually just use the chord command right in, um, right on your phrase screen. Um, so let's just add uh, to seven. Actually, you know what? Let's make this a little easier on ourselves, and we can change all of these. So, like the previous section, we'll just add the mall to 7, and this won't affect these because there's no command in front of it, so. Um, experiment a little bit with it, um, and you'll see what kind of, you know, chord you actually want to make. But this is a little simpler way. Um, I think with that, uh, with that version, you could, with Null Sleep's, tutorial for chords you can make um, your chords a little comp more complex um, and uh, but that you know that's a, you can you can also make your chords complex that way as well uh, you just have to experiment with it a little bit but that's essentially how you make chords in LSDJ uh, in part five. Um, in our last section, we will be doing we'll be doing uh, the effect how to use uh, duty cycle modulation, and this is a cool effect.